Hi, it's Lou Theodore and this is day 13 of 100 videos in 100 days. Uh, today I've had two random, uh, slightly unusual encounters, which uh, I thought I'd talk about here. Uh, the first one was this morning. I caught the bus into town quite early. I had to run some errands. And I also caught the bus because I wanted to I wanted to draw on the bus. I haven't been able to do as much sketching as I normally do. And when I don't draw, um, it, it affects me. I get kind of um, a little bit disconnected from myself. I can get a bit restless and a bit antsy. So I thought, win-win, um, I will do the chores and I will also do some drawing. So I started drawing this chap on the bus. He had the most amazing uh, furry collar on his jacket. So I was like a magpie alighting on him as my drawing subject. But two, two minutes maybe into the drawing, a lady sat next to me and started to ask questions about drawing. And then she got out her sketchbook and was flicking through it and um, was talking about her experience of having enrolled in a life drawing class for a term. And it wasn't anything to do with the tutor or the class setup or anything like that. But it was all about really how she wasn't enjoying it, how she was so disappointed in her drawings, um, how she was questioning why on earth she'd ever joined up to this class because um, who was she to think that she could be creative? And the kind of narrative went on and on on and on as she flipped through the sketchbook and at first she'd asked sort of fairly straightforward um, technical questions about drawing but the more she spoke the more I realised actually this is um this has got nothing nothing to do with drawing this is all about the thinking that you have rattling through your head whenever you try to draw it's like you know that inner critic on your shoulder those sort of relentless thoughts that you know tell you that you're not good enough um, that the drawing isn't good enough and who the who on earth do you think you are to be trying this you know so I gently suggested to her that um, a couple of things the first one made her really laugh because I said to her you know we all do crappy drawings that's part of the process you're only just starting you know, don't be so don't be so hard on yourself. Just give yourself permission to do some crappy drawings. And why don't you? In fact, why don't you give yourself permission for the whole term of life drawing that that is your expectation? I'll be doing crappy drawings. It's like the pressure is then off. You can just turn up, and whatever shows up shows up up and you don't have to judge yourself so ruthlessly for it um and she she was really laughing at this saying well yes I suppose I do have maybe unrealistic expectations because I'm learning something completely new and it'll take time and the, the other thing I said to her was you know I um I draw on the bus because it's important to me to touch base with that part of myself, that kind of creative expression. And if I don't, um, it, 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 it doesn't affect me well. Um, you know, I notice the restlessness and that sort of thing. But actually, that's got nothing to do with the end result. If I do a drawing on a bus and um, it turns out well, that's nice. But it's not the end result where the value is. The value is in the now in the process so the value is in really looking at something getting still enough to really look at something it's just in the feel of the pen going across the paper it's the fun of the different marks that you can make um it's the quietening of your mind that sometimes happens when you draw. That's that's the value. That's That was a real value for me. And I said to her, that's available to you in every lesson. You can just enjoy the difference between how your pencil 
um, feels on the different types of paper. You can enjoy being in a new environment. You can enjoy discovering your creative voice. Um, you can do all of those things in material of the end result. Just enjoy the now. Anyway, she went off the bus. She seemed happier and I really, really, uh, I hope it lightened her load because she seemed so, so disappointed and tense about this thing that she'd longed to do. Um, so I hope that helped. I get off the bus and then I meet um, an old chap who's clinging to some railings by the side of a road just near a pedestrian crossing and says to me, um, can you help me across the road? I'm not sure I can do it by myself. OK, yeah, fair enough. So he holds on to my arm. We shuffle towards the crossing. And as um, as we reach the crossing and he started chatting, like really chatting like a mad little chatterbox, a sort of a thought crosses my mind. Actually, I'm not sure that he really does need any assistance going across the road. Maybe it's just his tactic of a way of connecting with another person Um and having a conversation because he's lonely. Either way, it was fine with me. And it, we had the funniest, uh, funniest conversation. Well, actually, well, I didn't say very much. It was mainly him, but it was very funny. It was all about his sort of daily routine, how he likes to read his paper with a cup of tea in his bed at 6am, um, how he studies um, horse racing and horses' forms, how he catches the 902 bus every day, which is the first bus he can catch um, and use his free bus pass. And then how he goes to the same betting shop every day and places, places a £1 bet on the horses. And how he's 89 and he's been betting since he was 14. I heard it all just in crossing the road. It was very funny. And um, anyway, he went one way, one direction. I went another. And, you know, uh, let's, let's just park any judgment about whether gambling on horse racing is a good thing or not. Um, let's put that to one side. But what I did really like about him was um, was just the way he's getting up. He's getting out. He's participating in his life. You know, he's talking to people in whatever way he can and just out there living. And the same for the lady on the bus, actually. I really admired her for enrolling in the course, for giving something a shot, following following what she thought would be fun, taking a chance, you know, um, and even though she had loads and loads of chatter going on and that wasn't particularly helpful, she was still showing up there every week and that must have been hard with all that chatter. Um, and it's just seizing the day, doing something fun. So those were my two chance encounters today. Both were before, I don't know, 9.30, 10 o'clock. So um, it's been pretty quiet since then, but who knows? Who knows what might happen? I've got to go out later on this evening, so maybe that might be my day 14 video uh thank you for watching hope you're having a fab day